Okay, guys, um, I'm going to do this. I don't know if you all have used the DG Go on the Dollar General app yet, but I thought I would walk you through an order. Um, I've got a good little food order here that I'm going to do, and then I'll take you along for the pickup as well. So what you want to do first is open your Dollar General app. And you see here it says DG Pickup. Now that is the store I want to use today, so I'm going to just click on that. And you you can go through the different categories. I don't, however, I usually just hit the search and I'll type it in. And you can see that I've already got some foods typed in here. And that's what we're going to use today. So I'm just going to tap on each picture of the item and add it to my cart. Uh, you can search out the items though. And put them in your cart, whichever way you you want to do it. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is add the um, Quaker oatmeal. I'm going to get one of the apple flavored, and you can see there's a coupon for it, and it's clipped. And I'll just push Add to Cart. Now, if you want to get two of them you'll just you know change the quality just like normal and then I'll push the back button and then I want to add one of the maple and brown sugar which I already have searched out there add that to my cart as well and then I'll just push the back button again and what I'm doing is using the two dollars off when you spend ten on uh, general meals so then, um, I'm going to get a box of the Cookie Crisp, add that to my cart. Now, if it says it's not in stock, then it won't let you put it in your cart. And we all know that the in and out of stock portion of the app does not work properly. Uh, most of the time, it says out of stock, they do have the items in stock. So, the next thing I'm going to do is do the bugles deal now they're buy two and get one free and also part of that uh, save two dollars when you spend ten on general meals so I'm going to change the quantity to three and add that to my order and then go back And then I want to add the Chex Mix, and those are on sale two for two this week. And we have a 50 cent off coupon that's attaching to it, so making them two for a dollar fifty. So I'll change the quantity of that to two and add that to my cart. This is such a little great food deal um, that you all might just want to do anyways. Okay, I think I got everything in my cart that I'm wanting to do here. And then you see down here, it says cart, and I have 10 items in it. Okay, so you can see, you can click on it and see each deal that was applied. So the sale price of 2 for 2 was applied. Then that 2 off 10 has already applied in the 50 cent off coupon, making two of these bugles just 70 cents. Okay, so... Here we go. The total of the order is $18, and I have $8.50 in the deals applied. Oh, wait a minute. It didn't do it last night. It was $5.50. Oh. oh, my coupons for, oh, the coupons for Quaker expired today. That's what it is. Okay, I'm going to see if I can find a different item to put in the cart. Give me just a moment. Okay, so um, I had to make a few changes. Um, so right now I've got the box of Cocoa Puffs and the Cookie Crisp, the two Chex Mix, and the three bags of Bugles. And I want to add also 
I want to add a box of Lucky Charms to the order. Now, when it says low in stock, it'll let you order one. Um, and then, I want to put the oatmeal back on there because the coupon is still valid. I don't know why it wasn't showing up to begin with. So, I'm going to go ahead and put two of these maple and brown sugar. Add that to my order. And let's go to the cart and see what we got so far. So we have two oatmeal, three boxes of cereal, two of the Chex Mix, and three of the Bugles. That brought our total. Our total was $20. That brought it to $7.50. I was trying to get the instant savings twice. So let me see if I did that. That'll be four. Six, seven, and yeah, no, I need to add three more dollars, I think. So, I'm going to add another box of cereal. Let's see. I do have Lucky Charms on there. Or no, I'm going to add another oatmeal. Let's see what that does. Well, we don't have a coupon for that oatmeal, so I'm going to take that one off. So you can remove it. Okay, I know we have one coupon and then a dollar off two. Okay, well, actually this looks like a pretty good order. So for seven fifty. You're getting $20 worth of items. Okay, I'm going to proceed to check out. And I'll probably just have to pause it while I put my card information in. Yeah, I'm gonna, so I'm going to pause. Okay, guys, so um, I put my credit card information in. And I'm going to choose a pickup time. I'm going to do it today, but I'm going to make it for uh, 3 to 4 p.m. Okay, so I check that, and then you push save. Okay, and then there's my total, 750 And then I'm going to place the order. Now, it does put a hold on the amount of money. Um so order successfully placed. Got it. And that's all there is to it. Um, you have 24 hours to cancel because it's just a hold. And um, when I go pick it up today, I'll take you guys with me. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, next step, guys, you'll check your... Uh, email to see if you got your um, order confirmation and there we go mission accomplished we received your order for 10 items placed a hold on your card then it tells you the pickup details and the payment info and then your order what it is Okay. Wow, that doesn't look... Okay, let's make sure I got the right amount of items here. Lucky Charms, Cocoa Puffs, and Cookie Crisp. Chex Mix, two of those, three Bugles, and two... Yeah. Yep, that's it. Um, they're, They asked me the first time for some kind of a number off of the email but I don't see any number okay so um, there's the email and um, when I go pick it up I'll take you okay guys we are going to Dollar General to pick up our DG go order
Yeah, he was tickled. You all have a great day. I have a DG uh, go pick up order. Okay. No, it's okay. <clears throat> this is my first one. The cashier's never done one, so she's going back to see um, how and what she has to do to get my order. All this stuff will penny out soon. I was hoping I'd get in on some of this stuff when it did, but I missed it all. Or it didn't penny out in my area. One or the other. Some of these butt cans penny out. Okay. <sighs> Sign it. You can hear you. Oh, just with my finger or something? Yeah, just sign your name. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. As long as you know that. I, do, I love those damn cookies. Okay, so I can, now I'm good, right? Yeah, it should be. I've already paid for it. So it's just that easy. You just pay online and walk in and pick it up. Right. <laughs> Alright, 277. Right. Uh, that was for the other items I purchased. I picked up three of the Pantene and some of those Christmas cookies that I like. There we go. That wasn't a bad little deal. No, not at all. That was a lot of food for seven dollars. Yeah. Well, it did that thing again where it's on that white screen. I'll get it. Take your call. Okay guys, it was just that easy. And I am checking my order right now. There's my lucky charms, my cocoa puffs. My two oatmeals are there. Oh, that's the extra stuff I bought. And then um, the Cookie Crisp, three Bugles, and two Chex Mix. All of that for $7.50, and that's after tax. So uh, that's a really good deal. It's a lot of food for $7. And then, of course, I picked up three of the Pantines at 5 off of 3 still working on those. And grabbed me some of those Christmas cookies that I like. Me and my granddaughter can eat that whole thing in one day. <laughs> All right, guys, um, it's that easy to do the DG Go, so uh, thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. I promise you there's going to be some good content coming in the future. And I'm getting ready to hit 2,000 subscribers. So I thank each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel in the past few months. You are the reason... Uh, that I'm growing and um, I'll see you guys in the next one